So I'm going to show you a dessert that I make a lot. It's just hot chocolate, um, but we never buy hot chocolate. So what I do is I just heat up a pan. I take two squares of chocolate um, and I put them in the pan to melt it. And a lot of times I just move it around because I think that makes it go faster. This is something that I make a lot of times when I'm craving dessert more than just a plain piece of dark chocolate. Um, it really craves any, it satisfies almost any craving I have. I normally put a little bit of cinnamon in and just a dash. I also put a dash, which is really strange probably, but of red pepper flakes. Um, and I let these melt all the way. So I just have two squares of dark chocolate melting. Once these have melted, I put in anywhere, it's not that much milk, but it's whole milk, um, anywhere from a fourth to a third cup of milk, whole milk. And I add it, and then I just whisk. And I whisk until it is boiling, and then I turn the heat down, and that's all I do. And this is turns into a really, really rich dark chocolate drink. It's almost like a pudding. Um, it's so thick and rich and delicious, and it's not, it doesn't sound like a lot, and I actually pour it in a little espresso cup um, because it's so little, but you don't need any more just because it is so rich, and it's amazing. I think it's amazing. I would love um, to you guys, for you guys to test this out as well. Um, just think it's super easy when you don't have hot chocolate mix either at your house and you wanna have some hot chocolate, all you need is milk and a chocolate bar. So. So as you can see, we're getting some bubbles. Um, so when we get the bubbles, I just turn the heat off, um, whisk a little bit more, and put it in a cup and it's done. So this is done in like, I'm pretty sure it's less than a minute, 30 seconds. It's super easy, super quick, super delicious. So now I'm gonna pour it in my little espresso cup. And I always like doing this in a non-stick pan. It just makes it way easier. And you can see already like the top is kind of congealing. I love that bit. It is so delicious. It, it is like pudding, I don't know, to the extreme. It's like molten cake, I think. So this is my hot chocolate. You can make it with any chocolate bars that you have on hand. I usually have anywhere from 60 to 90% um, chocolate bars. So that's what I use. Um, I love skimming this top part off that's like super gooey. Um, and I like actually eating it with a spoon, so it's delicious. If you guys make this hot chocolate, make sure to tag me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'd love to share your guys making this recipe as well if you enjoy it. Let me know if you enjoy it, if you make any modifications. I would love to try your variations as well. Thanks. Don't like the pan, even though it is really hard not to because it's so delicious, you will burn your mouth, believe me. I've done it. You don't mm -hmm. want to do it.